everyone, Alex here with uh, UTRGV Outdoor Adventures. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a bowline. This knot's really useful to know. Um, it forms a loop uh, on the end of a rope that's not going to jam. Um, it's real easy to, to tie as well as uh, to untie when, when you're done with it. So first, um, there's a little bit of story that goes with this. Um, to make it easier, you're going to make uh, a loop. So um, you've got your, your loop here. This is your tree coming out uh, from the ground. And your, your other end, your loose end, is your rabbit. So you take the rabbit, comes up out of the hole, he comes around the tree, and he come, goes back down in the hole. Pull that snug. You've got your loop. You can make this loop as big as you need to, um, but that not, it's not going to slip. Um, it's real secure. You can put a lot of pressure on it. And then when you're done, all you have to do, pull that down, pull it out, and you're good to go. All right, that's, that's it. Good luck. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie a daisy chain. This is really useful if you have a long piece of cord uh, that you need to store in a, in a smaller space. So uh, right here, I have about 100 feet of paracord. I've doubled it over twice. As you can see, the, the two ends right here, middles right here. Um, how you're going to start this knot is with an overhand, which is just a simple twist, put it through, but instead of putting, pushing the short end through, I'm going to treat all of this as one rope, and I'm going to pull the long end through and make a loop. And then you take that loop, pull the next bit through, and so and keep repeating this motion, pulling the next bit through and so on until you get to the very end. So pull through, open it up, pull it through. And you, you can snitch this tight. You can make these loops as big or as little as you need them to be. And you work that all the way down to the end. Just like that. It's alright if it gets a little messy as long as you're maintaining that pattern and, and making sure you're getting all the, uh, the same rope through. Then, as you get closer to the end, you're going to go until you, uh, you can only get one more loop through. And then you're going to take your end, tuck it through, but this time instead of making a loop, you're going to pull the whole thing through and that locks it off. Now uh, this cord will sit here and stay, um, and instead of 100 feet long, I've got about oh, three or four feet of rope I, need, I have to deal with. Um, but then when you're ready to use that rope again, all you have to do is undo that last tuck, pull it out, and then it all comes undone nice and neat. I hope you guys get a lot of use out of this. Good luck. I'm going to show you how to tie a taut line hitch. What I use this knot mostly for is uh, when I'm building a shelter to uh, tie a rope to a tree and then you can make it tight um, or to a, a stake uh, for your tent to, to stake the tent down um, and, ke and keep uh, everything nice and secure. So how you start this knot, you're going to wrap it around whatever object, what is your tree or your, your stake, um, you wrap it around make a loop. You're going to wrap inside your loop once, twice, and on your third wrap, instead of coming all the way through, you're going to come around the outside of your first two loops, wrap it down through that hole you just made, pull everything nice and tight so that way there we go got it all snug you can slide it to however tight you need it to be when there's tension on it it's not going to move but you take that tension off and it slides and it's real easily adjustable uh, good luck i hope you guys give it a try thanks today i'm going to show you how to tie a devil fisherman's knot this knot is uh, really useful to uh, securely tie two ropes together, um, or you can use two ends of the same rope to, to tie a nice big loop. 
So how this knot works, you have your two ropes, lay them side by side like this. You're gonna take one end, wrap it down around itself twice. So one, two, and then you're gonna go up through both sides, pull that tight, make sure you have a little bit of extra tail here at the end, and you do the same thing with the other side. Wrap it once, twice, just like that, then up through, pull it tight, pull those together, nice and strong, not gonna go anywhere, and that's your knot. Good luck.